This is the Hitachi U1800 spectrophotometer. You can see here there's a display. You just uh, open the sample compartment here, you can see the display is changing here. This has got a multiple uh, Kuvat holder, which is pretty useful. An assortment of difference so position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4, etc. It's a multi Kuvat holder here. Okay, we go on to the main menu. So the main menu here is um, just try and zoom in on this, which hopefully show you the um, different uh, configurations on the uh, on the menu. So just uh, zooming in on that now that might give you uh, some sort of an idea of the, uh, the configs. So we've got main menu. We go down. Okay. Select function, go to uh, one, which is photometry. Um, stop, go back to the main menu. Two, which is uh, wavelength scan. Okay, stop. Three, uh, main menu again. Uh, four is system, wavelength calibration, lamp. Let's have a look at the lamp. So it's a deuterium lamp. Okay, so one on off. It's on. You can hopefully see that there. Which the deuterium lamp, which is the important thing here, um, and on all manner of other features. So um, again, um, the U1800, uh, an extremely good um, instrument. The beauty with this is the fact that we uh, we can supply it. Uh, for um, a, a limited, a nominal amount, with software which is a UV solution software and a cable to enable it to be run from a uh, from a PC, and that's a pretty simple thing to do. So again, talk to us about that if you think that's something that you can make use of. Um, and we've got um, you know UV solutions software that we can use for that particular um, purpose. So here we go. There's the uh, there's the instrument there. Um, this one is been last serviced in uh, 2005, um, and it's um, it's been it's been by the um, supplier, and then it's been regularly maintained by a third party service company um, since then. And um, uh, I'll give you more information on this as as um, if, if 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 it's appropriate when you contact Richmond Scientific. Hopefully, it's given you an introduction to it and. Um, as I say, Nick at Richmond Scientific if you've got any technical questions. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.